This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Stoll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Left and Right by Charlie Puth on the piano. Give you a preview before we start learning it. The awesome chorus section goes like this, check it out. Let's get right into it. Melody and chords, that's the foundation. And afterwards, you can add your own improvisations and decorations like that to make your own version and have fun. All right, so let's go give you uh, the melody and the block chords because that's the foundation. Very important to learn that first. So here we go. Let's break up the lesson into, let me see, break it up to three parts, okay? First part goes F sharp up here, so middle C, C, L for reference, go up an octave C, and we'll go up to the F sharp and start on this F sharp. Play three of these F sharps. E, D, G, and then two more F sharps. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So it goes F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, G, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are D major, D, F sharp, A. Second chord is B minor, B, D, F sharp, and third chord is G major, G, B, D. So with these three chords in mind, so D major, B minor, and G major, the two ends together goes like this, F sharp and D major together. After G, B minor by itself, second F sharp and G major together. That's it, let's learn it once again. So it goes together, yeah, together. All right, that's awesome. Moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, goes five Ds, one, two, three, four, five, up to B, A, and then back down to D for five times, one, two, three, four, five, up to G, F sharp. That's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So five Ds, one, two, three, four, five, B, A, D, 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 G, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Left hand, we have D major, D, F sharp, A. So with that in mind, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, A and D major together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes. All right, so that's the second part. So back to back, the two parts of learned so far will be played like this. All right, moving on to the third part. Ryan continues down to the A five times. One, two, three, four, five, up to E, D, B, D, B, B. That's it for the right hand for the third part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes A, 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 E, D, B, D, B, B. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. B minor, B, D, F sharp, and G major, G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, D and B minor together, B and G major together. That's it, let's learn it once again. So it goes together, together. That's it for these third parts. So back to back, all three parts of this lesson will be played like this. Repeat it. So once you get the melody and block chords of it's all good, you can start to add your own improvisations. Just do like the simple thing where like the original does. Literally all the chords just play like repeatingly the top note. Like that. This kind of pattern. Okay. So where you just hold the bottom note and just uh like do the main beats for the higher two notes of each chord. So putting it together goes like this. Something simple like that already makes it awesome, okay? And then you can add your own improvisations, you can expand it even more. You can do like octave arpeggios for the left hand. And then the right hand you can harmonize on the chords. You can even do like um like rhythmic patterns. Rhythmic pattern, jump around, have fun, okay? And so combining it, you go something like this.
yeah, play around, have fun, make your own version. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn more Charlie Puth songs, just search up Charlie Puth Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.